Hello everybody. Hope you're doing well and are ready for some volcano updates. A long silence in earthquakes around Kaelir was broken yesterday when a magnitude 3 earthquake struck on Sunday at 9.19 pm. Its effects were felt well in the capital and further. A daredevil was at the eruption site yesterday too. His act, climbing on the edge of the crater, could be considered dangerous, but he made it back all in one piece. He was captured on camera by a passenger on a ride with Hilo, a company offering trips to the volcano via helicopter. Check it out. Pretty risky to say the least, but must have been one heck of an experience. If you thought he was the only one to perform the staring feat, well, you were wrong. Two more people followed his footsteps and were also caught in the act, all on the same day. Monte was crazy. What is going on at the eruption site though? And how was the earthquake activity around Mount Kaelid? Well, let's check that out in the data and details section. So, to sum up the recent days, I'd say they've been rather quiet. After the big earthquake on Sunday, the activity has yet again decreased. If we look at the earthquake map, we can see that the number of earthquakes is low. If common sense is used, it seems as if most of the pressure has been released in the area by now. And just by looking at the earthquakes the last 48 hours, we can clearly see how much it has decreased. The tremors chart from Fartasfjall seems to be on the rise again. We'll pay attention to that. Unfortunately, we don't have any new information from the science team yet. So we're still left speculating on what might be going on. But just this morning, a pretty strange occurrence was observed. Another area could be about to make the volcano watch list. A sudden series of earthquakes sprung up a few kilometers west of Geltigadalir eruption, at a depth of 7 to 5 kilometers. This area is a part of the Reykjanes volcano system, and in the new era we are in, this earthquake activity is most likely caused by another magma intrusion. It can't be confirmed right away though. We'll have to get more data, so this area is definitely going on the already jam-packed volcano watch list. With all the new information we've obtained and received in the recent days, what could we expect in the near future? I think the situation with Geldigadalir remains unchanged. It can't yet be called off. Despite its long break, it might roar back to life sometime soon, maybe in a slightly different area. Hopefully our science team will have a meeting soon that will give us some answers. What about this new area on the Reykjanes Peninsula? that might be going off soon. Well, it's way too early to be making predictions on how that might play out. For all we know, this might not even be a magma intrusion. The next couple of days and weeks will give us answers to most of these questions, so if you want to be updated on that, you could either write down the channel name or subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you could share it with others by liking, and hope to see most of you in the next video. Thanks for watching.